Hot off the press. I literally just got this in the mail right now as I was working on another review. This is the brand new Spawn, McFarlane Toys Spawn on the throne. I have the original version. Unfortunately, I don't have it right here. It's in storage, but let's take a look at this guy because this is something that I'm really excited. I got the whole wave coming within the next couple days, so stay tuned for the reviews on that. So you got the, the packaging on, on the new wave is has like a red background to it with a little bit of black and you have the spawn and the old fashioned logo there. Big open window with the green necroplasm in the back or the flames. And then you have a really cool artwork here of spawn. And then on the back, look at this. This is so cool. This is what I love about the new packaging is they have the artwork of the character on the back. So it's got 22 moving parts, but how cool is this right here? I mean, this is just, I mean, if you're an inbox collector, this is it right here. Uh, there's the bottom and there is the side. So let's open this bad boy up and let's see if this guy is a pickup or a pass. All right, guys, so let's look at the accessories the Spawn does come with. You get the circular base right here, which is, I honestly, I mean, I was gonna say, I don't understand why this guy comes with a base. You're gonna want him sitting, but I'll explain to you guys why in a second. Um, you, do, you do get his throne which looks really cool. So you can see the really, really nice detail. You got some skulls throughout the, the entire um, seat here. And then it looks like there's some weapons in there as well. And you even have this like huge spinal cord on the top and you can see there's like a rib cage right here. And then there is a little bit of assembly required. We'll get into that in a second. Um, you got some skulls there on the armrests. It's like a lot of skulls throughout this bad boy. And then there is the bottom here. You can see there's like pouches, maybe some cables that are on there. It looks like there's a tire right here. You can make out a tire. And then, yeah, there's there's another tire here. So there's a lot of stuff. Although there's a the back of a, of a rifle right there too. So the, if you look closely in this, you can see a lot of really cool detailing on this. It is hollow in the bottom there, but let me go ahead and bring out the other piece. So this is the piece that attaches to the top. So it's got some skulls on there too. And then there's a little piece. So it's like a mouthpiece right here. So it's some kind of a creature that is you know part of the uh, the foundation of this piece so let's close that up right there and then that's the full effect that you get from his throne his uh really cool seat there so you got that you also get a piece of the cape because i would have preferred if we got a whole cape oh speaking of so the cape kind of goes throughout the chair it's a soft rubber material obviously to give the illusion that he's has a full cape as he's sitting but um you only get the top part of the cape you got the skulls here in the chain i wish mcfarlane would start using real chains again but it's really cool i mean how it looks and it also has a peg right here now the figure himself okay so the reason i was going to say why do you need a stand so if you want to display this spawn just like this without the cape, because McFarlane has given us spawn figures that look just like this, this is an amazing figure. I really like how this came out. So you have his gauntlets here with the spikes, which are just soft rubber. The head sculpt looks really good. You can see some sculpting on there. The paint apps on this is awesome. I still wish McFarlane would give us a, a spawn with like glow in the dark eye features. Uh, you have his outfit here. Again, the sculpting on this guy is very nice. And then you have the soft chains here. Again, wish we would have gotten some real chains. The skull, you have a skull right there as well. You got some pouches. The lower leg here, you can make out a little bit of the toes. You got the spikes. You have the uh, peg hole at the bottom and then you have the big old armor piece right here with the spikes. So he's got some articulation. You can tell right off the bat. I mean, he's got rotation in the head sculpt up and down. Leg, arms go in and out, very, very smooth too. Double jointed at the elbow, upper arm rotation. The hand can rotate, also has a hinge. And then you got rotation at the upper torso, also ab crunch, lower torso articulation. He's got like soft rubber right here, which is like the underwear part, but it doesn't go fully around so you don't get that diaper issue. Legs go in and out, forward and back, double jointed at the knees. Is there upper leg rotation? No. Um, the lower leg on this one doesn't rotate. He still has the foot articulation. You can rotate it. He's got, and it goes up and down. And he has the toe articulation in both feet as well. Let's see what Spawn looks like if you just put on the top part of the cape and then you peg this right in his back. So, I mean, it looks cool. It looks cool. You can, you can, I mean, if you look at it from the back, it doesn't look great at all. You can obviously tell a piece of it's missing. But if you look at it kind of like this, it does look really cool. Kind of like, uh, like maybe it got ripped off or something. But let's go ahead and sit him in his throne. Wow, guys, this came out freaking 
Nice. I was like telling myself, because I have, like I said, I have the original one. I was like, how are they going to top the original one? Because the original one looks so freaking good. But this one right here came out superb. He sits, he sits on the chair perfectly. He's not like sticking up or anything. And I like how you can, you know, the hands go up and down so you can have them like resting over the armrest or like even over a skull if you wanted to. I mean, this guy just came out cool. This is probably one of my favorite spawn figures as of recent. Um, you guys know I really, really loved the she spawn that just came out. That was my favorite one, but this one here takes the cake. And I'm talking about recent as in like the past couple years. So this is definitely a pickup up guys i what i wish it would have came with maybe an unmasked head sculpt or a couple guns maybe i think that would have been cool i mean you get the throne and you get a base i mean but again the spawn figure can be displayed without the cape and he looks fantastic without that but overall i definitely think this guy right here is a pickup let me know in the comments down below guys what you think about this do you have it are you planning on picking it up let me know what you think about it from the video. From the video, did this meet your expectations? Thumbs up the video. We will see you soon. Again, guys, this is available in BigBadToyStore.com. Link in the description. And I am going to be doing reviews a little more often now. So thank you for watching. Later.